Today I'm cooking mushrooms in a different way. I'm poaching them. I'll show you how to do that in the kitchen in a little bit. I'm using shiitake mushrooms. Shiitakes have a very woodsy flavor. They also have less moisture than other varieties. So when you cook with them, they really hold their shape well. The recipe also calls for mosh rosettes. I need two packages of these. Mosh is also commonly known as lamb's lettuce. It originated in Europe and France where it grew wild, but now it's cultivated and uh, raised in, um, in the United States and California primarily. It has a nice, mild, sweet, nutty flavor, and you can cook with it, but it's also great in salads. We're making a vinaigrette dressing for the salad. To make a traditional vinaigrette, we need some Dijon mustard. So I'm picking this creamy Wegmans Dijon mustard for my vinaigrette, and now I have everything I need. You can poach in a lot of different liquids, but today we're poaching mushrooms in olive oil. So adding the mushrooms right to the skillet, along with our uh, one and a half cups of, of olive oil. That may seem like a lot to you, but we want to really immerse these mushrooms in the olive oil. Now the whole thing with this is that um, we want to cook this over a very, very low heat. You don't want the mushrooms to sizzle. You simply you want them to cook, but we're doing that to infuse the olive oil with the flavor of the mushrooms. And then later on, we're going to use that olive oil to make the vinaigrette for the salad. So let's get that um, heated up, and we're going to cook these for about 10, 15 minutes until they're softened. And, and, and that oil is infused with all that great flavor. As you can see, the mushrooms did shrink as they cooked. They're tender, they're plump. I already let these cool because I, I don't want this to be hot at all, but now it's time to drain the oil off of the mushrooms. So let's just pour that through a fine sieve into a bowl until they're all out. All right, now that we've drained out all of that oil. Let's just transfer this over here. Set it aside just for um, just for a minute until we're ready for it again. So let's bring over this um, the container for the measuring cup. We want about in order to make this vinaigrette about a cup of oil, and that's just about a cup right there. So we'll set that aside. Add that to our blender, along with uh, we have some vinegar here. Uh, along with a tamari, some shallots, and again, for that traditional French-like vinaigrette, some of our Dijon mustard, and finally, a pinch of salt, depending on how you like it to taste, and a little bit of um, freshly ground black pepper. Okay, those are all the ingredients for our vinaigrette. Now let's blend that up. So let's add enough of the vinaigrette just to coat the mosh leaves. So don't add it all at once. Add a little bit. Give it a little uh, toss with your tongs. I find that this is the easiest way to do it. And that looks good to me. You don't have to use all of it. Um, but finally, we want to add back in the cooled mushrooms. And give that another toss. And you are just about ready to serve this. I think you're really going to enjoy that mild, peppery flavor of the mosh, along with this very unique vinaigrette made with our poached mushrooms.